Hello students, I will be giving a short introduction to quantum physics. These lectures are meant for the engineering physics and BSc students and these are based on the new AST curriculum. In these lectures, we will try to see that how the quantum ideas they come into picture and which experiments they led the development of those ideas and how those ideas they were very important with for the development of entirely a new framework in physics that is quantum framework and which led to the development of new theories so let us try to see first those experiments which really changed everything let us all start with black body radiation the first question which comes to our mind is that what is a black body a surface which absorbs all radiation incident upon it can be termed as a black body all radiation now I can take an enclosure which is made up of some suitable refractory material and I make a small hole in it with a small hole if I do that then any light incident from outside in this enclosure will be almost completely absorbed by multiple reflections inside the enclosure so this can be compared appears more like more or less like a black body now of this black body there were two empirical observations so what are those empirical observations this body the surface of this material if it is held at high temperature then it will emit light of at high temperature it will emit light of all the frequencies and the wavelength emit light of all frequencies and wavelengths then experimentally it was find it was found wavelengths if I want to plot this spectral intensity that is radiant energy per unit time per unit area per unit wavelength I call this as intensity and I plot this versus wavelength then what do I get I get a curve like this it peaks at some maximum wavelength this is observed at some certain temperature T1 now I increase the temperature T2 and then I get another curve and I get that the peak shifts to a lesser wavelength L my lambda maximum it shifts here and this is obtained at another temperature T2 such that T2 is greater than T1 okay so what was empirically found that if I take the product of the first empirical observation lambda maximum into T is equal to constant that as I go on increasing temperature of the surface then the maximum wavelength which I get it decreases such that lambda maximum T is a constant and the value which was experimentally observed of this constant was around 0.2898 centimeter degree Kelvin this was termed this was observed by Wiens and termed as Wiens displacement law another empirical observation was that the spectral distribution the spectral distribution 
of the emitted radiation is independent of the shape of the cavity and the material of the walls of the emitted radiation radiation is independent of shape and material of cavity so this was a very important observation of the cavity so these were two the empirical observation or ex we can call this as an experimental observation now what planck saw from this experimental observation we'll try to see from one point of view that how what information we can get from this expression now let us let us take this as lambda maximum t the first point of view okay is equal to constant c not now from this in this equation if i just want to see from dimensional point of view dimensional point of view i want to study this equation if on both the sides i multiply till this time the people they all were familiar with the classical physics all the fundamental things which they have learned i multiply k by c on both the sides now on the left hand side what do i observe that i can take lambda maximum by c into k t this is equal to some constant i can call this as y it becomes a new constant c not k where k is a boltzmann constant c is the velocity of light now here if you observe what are the dimensions of this what are the dimensions of this it has a dimension of time and it has a dimension of energy now left hand side i see that when i write lambda maximum into t is equal to y c not k by c here also i write k and here it is c so it has a dimension of time and it has a dimension of energy now what is this the time into energy these are the dimensions of action now the question which arose was that how do i get the dimensions on the right hand side which has a dimensions which has the dimensions of action because how to produce a quantity having physical dimensions of action from the fundamental constants of classical physics how do we get the dimensions of action with the do we get dimensions of of action from fundamental constants because it's a constant so we have to use some fundamental constants from and what were the fundamental constants available at that time fundamental constants like mass of the electron charge of the electron mass of hydrogen we cannot use this fundamental constants why because already we have seen the empirical observation that the cavity the spectral radiation is independent of the material of the cavity and the size of the cavity so we cannot use any kind of these constants spectral distribution is independent of of the size and material of the cavity so my this constants cannot depend upon these material of the cavity now this was a very beautiful observation now this y cannot be derived from the constants of classical physics then planck was able to get an idea y cannot be derived from any 
फंडामेंटल कॉन्स्टेंट्स ऑफ क्लासिकल फिजिक्स then he got an idea that we require a new constant of physics and then he came up with the idea and he could get the dimensions of action by using lambda maximum upon c into kt is equal to y is equal to 0.2014 into h and this was for the first time when planck's constant made its appearance in physics where h was 6.6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and this joule second is again other dimensions energy into time that are the dimensions of action so this was remarkable that we have to introduce a new fundamental constant in order to get the dimensions of action here and planck's constant is also called the fundamental quantum of action this was for the first time planck's constant made its appearance and it is known as fundamental constant of action this was from the dimensional point of view that how the quantum ideas this slowly started appearing that why do we require them that how h made its appearance now from other from classical point of view if i want to see that if i want to derive the spectral density from the classical statistical mechanics then what do i get the expression for the how my spectral intensity it varies with the frequency so from classical physics if i derive the intensity radiated in increases with frequency increases with frequency so there was a problem now if my intensity radiated e it varies as mu square it increases increases with the frequency but already we have seen from the graph that how my intensity radiated should be it has to first increase and then decrease whereas from the classical physics it was not matching what we got experimentally so there was a problem it also means that total radiated intensity is infinite which cannot possible which is not possible the thermal that my radiation is not in a thermal equilibrium with matter at any temperature so this was a problem then this problem he could get we could get the low at high frequency it was keep on increasing so we could not get the experimental result it could not match with the experimental result which we got now then in 1900 already planck had an idea that we require he have he derived that he had to introduce a new fundamental constant then he could guess that based on his understanding he derived again the intensity of radiation as a function of wavelength and temperature he assumed and on what basis he guessed the formula he assumed he guessed the formula for the energy the full formula as as a function of lambda nt he got that it is equal to 8 by hc upon lambda 5 1 upon exponential hc upon lambda kt minus 1 he could guess this based upon his understanding and then at that time he did not fully understand that how this experiment how this formula all the pieces of this formula were not very clear but to utter surprise this formula it completely agrees with the experimental result at low frequencies it matches as well as for the high frequencies also 
it matches when i take the maxima of this intense of this energy spectral energy with wavelength that is if i try to find de by d lambda and try to find the maxima then what do i get is lambda maximum t is equal to constant he could get back from his planck's radiation law the wien's law i would like the students to do this small exercise that they should take the planck's radiation law and take the total derivative equal to 0 and then derive the wien's law it would be a good exercise to check so what is e lambda t the density of radiant energy in the cavity per unit wavelength interval at a wavelength lambda and t he could do that and then he derived later on he could explain that he how did he get this guess this formula by assuming by assuming that the walls which are made up of the atoms and the, which oscillate that an oscillator of natural frequency of natural frequency can take up or give off energy only in the packets of energy so this was really amazing because before that earlier in classical phase the uh, all the energies atoms can take up the continuous energies all the energies are possible but what did he assume that now that an oscillator of natural frequency nu can take up can take up or give energy only in packets packets which were known as quanta of energy as e is equal to h nu where h is a new fundamental constant already we have seen this was remarkable it gave a new direction to physics and it gave the rise to the quantum ideas so what did he uh, say that energy is quantized it is not continuous and the atoms or oscillators atom oscillator can take up or give energy only in the packets for example i can write e is equal to n h nu that n is an integer so it can take up energy as h nu 2 h nu 3 nu so for the first time he gave the quantum idea so this was the first experiment one of the experiment which gave rise to the quantum ideas that the world in which we are living the line physics is but still was quantum physics though in some but we were able to see the classical physics because we were not able to go to up to that scale ideas okay so now very good so we have seen that in this experiment it really changed the sign science and the people they start thinking about in this direction then there were other experiments which also gave the idea of the of quantum physics that how the underlying physics is quantum physics so we'll try to see more experiments in the next lecture thank you